Hi everyone, it's me Natty, and today's video is a request from a friend on Instagram, but I wanted to do this kind of video anyway. Um, before we start the video, I want to get something out of the way though. Um, let me just bring it up here. All right, so counterfeit dolls, more known in the doll hobby as recasts, are having a very large negative impact on the community. It always seems to hit the community harder when the dolls that we love become stolen property and lost revenue for the artists that worked really hard to create them. I'm not going to go into detail. Um, as I don't want any arguments happening in the comments. Uh, I'm not here to start fights, um, nor am I going to harass anybody or um, judge you on choosing to purchase counterfeits. Um, even though it's by no moral, uh, it's no means a moral thing to do, but I don't want to talk about it today. Um, I just want to help everyone uh, purchase authentic, legitimate dolls that are within their budget. And that's what's going to lead us to today's video. Um, today we're going to be looking at some of my favorite sites uh, for secondhand BJD shopping um, that are accessible to almost everybody. So that's going to be awesome. Um, this means I'm not going to talk about Den of Angels. Um, I'm not going to talk about artist sites like Resin Soul, um, even though they're awesome. <laughs> um, I'm not going to talk about dealers like Alice's Collections. Uh, all the sites that we're looking at today are sites to buy secondhand, as that is a way to get your dream doll for a fraction of the cost, all while supporting legitimate sites and your fellow collectors. Um... So, um, by putting your money into the secondhand market, you are encouraging your fellow collectors to continue to support artists as well as benefiting yourself, of course. Um, there are little to no downsides for buying authentic dolls secondhand. So, uh, without further delay, Let's take a dive into the wonderful rabbit hole of my favorite secondhand doll sites. <laughs> All right, to start things off today, we're going to talk about Bai. So Bai is a proxy site for many Japanese sites, um, including Makari and Rakuten. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're going to look at one particular part of uh, this proxy, which is uh, for Yahoo Japan auctions. So, um, Yahoo Japan auctions is very similar to eBay, um, where you can bid on items listed or purchase them if they have that option. Um, the counterfeit items on this site are fairly easy to spot as they usually use company photos or photos that look like they would belong to a company, um, uh, like they would be mimicking the company photos. But for the most uh, part, you can find BJDs here in the doll section under the Super Dolphy um, section for prices you guys can't even imagine. It's incredible. Um, many of the dolls there, of course, are Volks, but there are dolls from other companies there as well. Um, there's also a section that you could see here for Dolphy Dream and Custom Dolls, which is a little harder to navigate because there are more counterfeits, but it's still well worth digging through. Um, there is a proxy fee, uh, as with many sites that provide this kind of service. But they periodically offer coupons um, and discounts, which will last for weeks or even months. Um, and they work on multiple purchases. So that's always great to 
look at. Overall, it is really well worth your time and it is worth checking out. Um, my personal experience with Bai, um, <laughs> I have purchased many dolls and non-doll items from Bai. Starting in 2019, I bought a Delphi Dreamhead um, for approximately 23 Canadian dollars, um, which I followed up with another Dolphy Dreamhead for, get this, 16 Canadian dollars. 16 dollars. Um, I've purchased eyes, figurines, plushies, and a lot of doll items from the site. I even purchased a super rare artist cast one of a kind BJD head um, for an acquaintance in this hobby for less than 15 Canadian dollars. I'm Canadian. I need to, I feel like I should remind people of that. So a lot of this will be in Canadian dollars. <laughs> um, I haven't purchased just heads from Bai though. Um, I have lucked out quite a few times on full dolls, including a full Dolphy Dream for roughly 130 Canadian dollars, which I'm fairly certain. I don't know. Uh, it could. I think it's around 100 US dollars or less. Um, granted, these prices don't cover the shipping and proxy fees. But even so, these dolls and parts were acquired for more, uh, for a mere fraction of what they would cost brand new. And even less than what a lot of counterfeit dolls cost anyway. Um, Bai is well worth the effort. And luckily there is a translation option at the top of the page so you could tra translate the Japanese into English or any language that you speak. Uh, the second site I want to talk about real quick is uh, Mandarake or Mandarake as I, I've been saying, but apparently I've been saying it wrong. It is Mandarake. Um, it is a huge, huge blessing to our hobby. Um, it's fairly simple to navigate. And for the most part, there are little to no counterfeits listed on the doll portion of the site as they do have a staff member in charge of um, taking the counterfeits off. In fact, Mandrake as a whole tries really hard to make sure there are like almost no bootlegged products in their stores or listed online, which I find is very impressive. So that's a good spot to go shopping. Um, Mandrake's doll section is very extensive. Um, they do separate, uh, everything into different categories, as you can see here on the screen. Um, and, uh, the page is in English. If you go to the Mandrake, um, earth or world link when you first go on the site, um, and they offer a lot of search filters as well. Um, so you could take out products that have already sold or you can arrange them according to price. Uh, they also have something really cool called a favorite system where you could bookmark the items that you like um, and an alert system. So if an item that you want sells out before you can buy it, um, they will email you and notify you when a similar item comes back up on their page. So if you really wanted a... Uh, Dolphy Dream Miku and all of them are sold out then you can um, add the Miku to your alerts and next time a Dolphy Dream Miku shows up on Mandarake they will email you and let you know that it's there so that you could go and buy it. <laughs> um, very handy if you're like me and you're keeping an eye out for certain companies. Um, I believe that a lot of us Westerners need to be utilizing Mandarake more and promoting it as a necessary site for doll collectors as you could get almost anything that you need from this site. And better yet, if you're in Japan for a trip, then you can actually go into their stores. They have plenty of stores that you could go into and look at. Okay. So my personal experience with Mandarake, um, I started shopping on here in uh, 2019. 
my very first purchase was um, one of the Dolphy Dream Sirius, which is the uh, DDH05. But um, this was like the original release. She came with the full set outfit, eyes, and box. Uh, sadly, there was no wig, but that's fine with me because uh, I wanted to make her a custom wig anyway. Um, I paid roughly 225 Canadian dollars, um, which is less than, much less than half than uh, what a lot of Dolphy Dream dolls tend to go for. Um, I followed that purchase up with another Dolphy Dream purchase. <laughs> um, I bought an original release, so the very first Dolphy Dream to be released, um, the Mirai. Granted, she was very badly stained, but she came with everything, and honestly, I don't mind staining. She's wearing clothes, so um, that's fine. Um, uh, while stained, I, I mean, I love her. <laughs> um, since then, I've purchased heads, wigs, clothes, um, and other full uh, BJDs. Like, I bought a Dream of Doll Tender Yen, um, which is from Discontinued Company, RIP, Dream of Doll. Um, I paid less than 90 Canadian dollars for him, and he is legit. Um, the site is a blessing and should be a staple in our hobby, so we should be promoting it more. Um, the next one I want to talk about is... Dolateria. Um, now, while it's a little difficult to navigate at first, Dolateria is a wonderful site, much like Mandarake. Uh, it's our third Japanese site that we're covering. Oh boy. Um, but Dolateria um, also makes for a wonderful shopping experience uh, by being vigilant and they try not to have counterfeit uh, products on their site and in their physical stores. Um, they make uh, navigating a little less tedious by having the categories on the side of the page there. Um, you do have to translate the page to English, so you do have to use their desktop browser instead of the phone browser. Um, so they have it in different categories like Super Dolphy, which is the Volks resin, Dolphy Dream, which uh, again, mostly contains Dolphy Dreams and similar dolls. And then my favorite is the Oversea Cast dolls, which are all dolls that aren't Volks. <laughs> um, on top of this, they have a massive variety of other dolls like A-Zone and Pull-Up and Barbie, anything you could think of. Um, and they have everything you need, as you can see on screen. They have clothes, they have wigs and accessories. Um, like I said, use the PC version of the site, not the mobile version. Um, it can be difficult to navigate at first and... Um, and use the checkout option. But once you learn the ins and outs, then it becomes easier to work with. Um, I actually used to be really scared of Dolateria. Um, I, so like Bai and Mandarake, I put checking it out. Um, I put off checking it out. Um, it wasn't until again, 2019, I think I see a pattern. <laughs> where I forced myself to learn the site and it paid off very well. Um, they were having a summer sale at the time and there was a Dolshi hound that was crying my name. Um, I never thought I'd own a doll from Dolshi because we all know their excessive wait times and the costs. Um, so finding an authentic um, original pound for under 250 Canadian dollars. Uh, it was like winning the doll lottery. Um, since then, I've only purchased uh, clothes and accessories from them, but I always keep my eye out for more deals and sales. It is well worth learning the site. Um, please check it out. Um, 
our next site that I wanted to talk about was uh, BJD Circley, um, or Circley, however you pronounce that. Oh, geez. I am so sorry for butchering these names. Um, there's not much to say about this website. Um, more, um, Circley is more known for its Lolita market. But um, they created this resin market not long ago. Um, and it's not a very popular site, but it is well worth keeping your eyes on. Um, there are some good finds that pop up here from time to time. Um, the site is a secondhand auction and sale site and does not allow counterfeit products. So if there are any, you can just report them and they'll be taken down. Um, they're really easy to skip over though, in case they do show up. Um, it is small site, very easy to navigate. Um, I hope one day it starts getting more traffic. Um, as it is a good resource for the community. Um, I came across the site when somebody mentioned it in passing on Facebook and, um, once there, I was really surprised at some of the listings. Uh, I managed to get a very rare doll head for about a third of the current market value, which is pretty cool. Um, I periodically check on the site in case I stumble upon another deal that is too good to pass up. So we're going to take a break from the websites now. And we're going to introduce you to this phone app which is called Shenyu or Idlefish again please for please don't judge my terrible pronunciations for these um so Idlefish that one's easier to pronounce um it's a Chinese phone app and it works alongside Taobao so you can use your Taobao account to log into it um it is a secondhand market for anything and everything, much like Japan's Mercari market. Um, the only thing is that unless you can read the language, you will need a translation app. I use the Google translation uh, tap to translate option. Um, so there are a lot of counterfeits mixed in on this site. It, so it is really difficult to navigate compared to the others. Um, but it is really, really well worth the time searching and learning how to use the app. Um, and again, if you can't read the site, um, you're probably going to need to use a proxy agent. Um, I use 42 agent. They're my go-to choice. Um, so, if it wasn't for a fellow hobbyist walking me through the process, I probably would have given up on this app, but it is like finding gold in a river. Um, I've made quite a few purchases <laughs> so far, um, all using the 42 agent um, proxy service as they were incredibly helpful and wonderful to work with. Um, my first two purchases were for um, MU or MU doll USD size bodies, and they cost me less than $80 each. I think it was closer to $50 each. Um, even with proxy fees and shipping, they were s still considerably less expensive than if I were to buy from the company directly. Um, it is a chore to navigate for sure. Um, but with the Google Translate app, I can manage. Um, overall, I think if you have the determination and the ability to identify the counterfeit listings, it is a really good resource to have. Um, lastly, um, for the websites, I want to talk about, well, it's not really a website per se, but I want to talk about a market that I hold dear to my heart. <laughs> I used to be a moderator for this group, um, the BJD Addict sales page on Facebook. Um, there are rules to follow. Um, the most notable being um, 
no want to buy posts or recast sales as you can see there um, but overall the group is fairly lax and an amazing resource to have in the community uh, it's a standard Facebook marketplace um, this page is one of the most expansive community run markets okay sorry about that I was having some computer issues um, but as a moderator for BJD Addicts, it was my job to um, keep the peace as well as remove counterfeit and scam listings. Um, enforcing the rules was difficult and the stress of doing all of this had eventually was the reason why I left. Um, but the page to this day is still one of my favorite places to... Uh, purchase and browse from. Um, over the years, I've purchased so many <laughs> um, dolls and parts off of this marketplace. Um, whether it's joining a split for the newest Fairyland releases or finding old event heads um, from doll makers that no longer exist or even just getting doll bodies for half the retail price. Um, without BJD Addicts, I wouldn't have had nearly as many dolls in my collection as I do today. So it's a very wonderful market to have. Um, now, this isn't going to be a website, obviously, but I can't talk about secondhand markets and affordable BJD shopping without making note of doll conventions and doll shows. Um, once... Uh, it is safe to do so in your area, which it should be. Um, a lot of places have lifted restrictions now, which is great. Um, uh, I highly recommend checking out your local doll shows. Uh, quite a few sellers come across BJDs and things at estate sales and um, then proceed to sell them at these local shows for significantly less than what they should be because they do not know the market value. Um, BJD and related specific conventions are also great things to check out while the prices here are going to probably be higher since we do know the market value um, and everybody seems to be more knowledgeable towards these specific dolls at BJD conventions. Um, there are always good deals to find. Um, some people are just trying to reduce their collection, so they slash off prices, which is great. Um, my first non-convention, so my first doll show that I went to, which is on screen here, is the London Doll and Teddy Bear Show. And I ended up purchasing an old Lutz head that had been modded for around 20 Canadian dollars, as well as a bunch of super cute clothing. Um, next time I went, it was held at a bigger location, which was fantastic. And um, there was a seller there who had come across some dolls at an estate sale, like I mentioned earlier. Um, they were authentic. They came with the proper packaging and everything. And um, she brought them to sell at the show. And they were some doll in mind dolls. And as we know, um, they periodically sell their dolls. But I'm not sure um, if they'll ever come back in full force. Um, so this was right around the time that doll in mind was doing their mask discontinuation. So the market value was really high and I bought mine for 70 Canadian dollars. <laughs> uh, it was my luckiest find at the doll show so far. And I really look forward to going again this September. I believe it is September 18th. Um, the only doll specific convention that I've gone to is Doll North, which is a branch off of Anime North. Um, every time I go, I tend to come back with a lot more than what I should. <laughs> um, quite a few dolls, clothing, accessories have been purchased. Um, there, along with the main market, we used to do a swap meet um, 
Dull North is under new um, organization this year. So unfortunately, I don't know if a lot of what was going on in previous years will happen this year. Um, I can't wait to see it, though. So I'm really excited about that. All right. So those are the secondhand markets that I really encourage everyone to check out. Whether you're a hobby veteran like me or a newcomer to the hobby or hopefully someone wanting to transition to authentic dolls instead of counterfeits, these sites and locations are wonderful resources for us doll collectors. Now, I'd love to thank the names up on screen. <laughs> I will put their accounts in the description below. Um, these three wonderful people are the encouragement and insistence I had while navigating the sites. Um, so please go and check them out. I also want to thank um, the London Doll and Teddy Bear Show and Doll North presented by Anime North for, um, for providing us Ontarians with uh, some wonderful doll conventions to look forward to. Their links will be in the description below. Um, so before I end this video, I just want to remind everybody to please be kind in the comment section. This video is meant to be informative and like a reference um, for those who want it and not a fighting ground for the authentic versus counterfeit argument. Um, I'm firmly against bootlegs and counterfeits, but I'm a firm believer that arguing constantly is not going to get anyone anywhere. Um, those of us with this knowledge that I've been sharing today um, should be sharing it and encouraging each other in a positive manner to choose authentic products over counterfeits. But again, um, like constant arguing is going to get us nowhere. So please do not argue in the comments section. Um, support the artists, support your secondhand markets, and support the members of your community. Um, so that's all for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this second attempt at a VTubing video. Um, so what are your guys' favorite secondhand sites? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what your go-to sites are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!